Hey guys, so Halloween has come to a close, which means I can finally take down these Halloween decorations. So that's what we're gonna get into today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, we are gonna be just kind of taking down all of my Halloween decorations and getting ready for fall decorations to be put up. I do not decorate for Christmas early because I kind of feel weird, especially with Advent and all of that, you know, coming up in the future. I kind of feel like I want to embrace fall, do Thanksgiving, and then decorate for Christmas in the Advent season. So at the beginning of October, I put up my Halloween decorations. It is now finally after Halloween, so we can go ahead and take those down. In a future video, I will be putting up just some minor decorations or maybe I'll just highlight what I've added after this cleanup video. But before we get to cleaning up, I do want to share some of our Halloween experience as well as how I made my daughter's Halloween costume this year. So Aubrey really wanted to be a little chick in an egg and I thought I would give paper mache Shay a try for the very first time. Now in the past when I was little my I think we just mixed like water with glue and used that with some newspaper and you know paper mache that way but I did read up on you know other methods and some include just a flour water mixture that I ended up cooking on the stove. Apparently the cook method can be like smoother or I don't know there's benefits to it you don't have to cook the flour water mixture on the stove but that's what I did I also added some salt so that it wouldn't mold however I think that's probably more for long-term storage if you want to create like a bowl so after making my paper mache you know mixture I saran wrapped one of my larger bowls and then started just kind of gluing on old you know, paper strips that we've gotten in the mail. I was kind of collecting that over some time. And I did, I think I wanna say like four coats. I wanted to make sure it was thick enough to be like nice and strong, but I didn't wanna overdo it and waste my time. After that totally, you know, dried as best as it could, I did take off the saran wrap and put it in my oven at a very low temperature, like 170 degrees to just fully dry out. And I probably left it in the oven for like 10 to 20 minutes until it was totally done. Then I gave this bowl like kind of, you know, eggshell edges and I even had to cut a hole out from the bottom so that Aubrey could wear this eggshell as a bottom piece for her costume. Then I took some spray paint to it and I didn't have enough spray paint to totally coat the bowl. So I ended up using some of my like white chalk paint to finish off the look. For the top piece, I just used this one pink uh, eggshell looking thing that she got as a toy and we painted that white to match the bottom and she wore that on her head and then from the paper mache hole that I cut for her to put around her hips I decorated some little eyes and a beak that we stuck onto her little orange dress. So it was definitely more of like an abstract costume but I think she really liked it and I'm just really glad that it was a success. For Jack we decided to dress him up as Juan Diego uh, because we were going to later in the evening go to church and they were asked to dress up as a saint so I just we had a little poncho that was Juan's like when he was really little and we taped on a little picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe on the little poncho so that he could be Juan Diego for Halloween. But like I said, before we get to undecorating, let's go ahead and check out some of our Halloween footage. <sighs> what do you say when you ring the doorbell? What do you say? Hi. We say trick or treat. Say trick or treat. Trick or treat. And then we say thank you. <laughs> well. And mommy, daddy, say happy Halloween. <laughs> Can you say happy Halloween? <sighs> say happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. <laughs> Aubrey, why don't you show them your little costume? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I'm a mini chicken. <laughs> An egg that is oh. in the shade. <laughs> and who are you, little Diego? Juan Diego. Juan Diego. Juan Diego. Bobby Diego. Bobby Diego. 
So we are gonna go trick or treating and thought you can come along. <laughs> Bubba, say happy Halloween. Do you want candy? Go, Bubba. <laughs> Oh. What do you say, Bobby? Oh. Just look. <laughs> Bobby, okay. This is the second fire hydrant today you want to open up. Keep going. They want a wet And a hot seat. Poop. The donkey poop is yucky. A donkey poop is yucky. Mommy, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay, just yeah. take, take one. But I pick Bubby, one. Bubby, take one. Ooh, and then we say thank you in case they're listening and watching. Thank you. All right. Happy Halloween. Well, which ones did you get? Uh -huh. Bobby, Bobby, those people that give you the stuff. You need to say thank you. This is fire hydrant number four that we've walked by that he wants to open up. Okay, hey, Bubby, let's keep going. One day when you grow up, do you want to be a firefighter? Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bobby, it's dark. dark. It's dark. It's not dark yet, dude. Man, I got dull. I'm spooky. And mm -hmm. Bobby. It's spooky? I'm pretty spooky. I'll pull him. Okay, go up there and say trick or treat. That's spooky. That's spooky. <laughs> Go up, Bobby. Go up and say trick or treat. What do you kids say? Very cool costume. Nice. You see that, Papa? You just gave that thing a hug. Okay. Stand back. Stand back, Bubby. And then you say trick or treat. You guys have to say trick or treat nice and loud when they open the door. Hi, trick or treat. I saw you, you're a crap, an egg and a chicken, huh? <laughs> I love trick or treat. Whoa, you're so cute. Where's your, where's your well, I'm holding on to it because he keeps uh, dragging it on the floor. Come on back. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. There you go. Bubby, say thank you. I got her. Have fun! Thank you, thank you sir. To you. Very cute decorations. <laughs> on oh, oh, yeah, light is out. Okay, come on. What happened there? I broke it. I know the part in the mud. I'm dumb in there. Okay. You I'll go in there. You care about our environment, huh? I know, go. I know, go. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bubby. Ah. Uh, Okay, go go and grab one. Yeah. Is it getting heavy, dude? It might get happy. It might get happy. Okay. Another fire hydrant. This is yeah. gonna be the theme of the night. Okay, Bobby. All done. Bobby, stop. Hey, let's no, keep going. You can be. 
<laughs> it's number five. <laughs> Oh, the doggy. <laughs> oh, you're scared. Okay. Oh, number six. I missed it. First mailbox of the night. Getting tormented. Number seven. Or eight or something. I keep missing it. He's always so quick now. Bye-bye. You missed one. Oh, Bye -bye. I caught it. He missed it. Okay, maybe we're... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Bobby, we're gonna go to East House. Oh, we missed, we missed another one. Maybe we're done with these tonight. Mommy, yeah. you cannot do with this toy. I can barely keep my hands up. It's on the back. I'm already holding Bobby's bag. Oh, now we're talking about cones. Aubrey, can you tell me how your Halloween trick or treating day went? It was nice. We got to eat house, but you didn't wear going the not decoration ones. Mm-hmm. But we did got some candy. Where'd you get that one, Aubrey? Baba, can you show me all your candy from Halloween? Where is it? Show it to me. That? Is that your favorite candy? Where's the rest of your candy? Right there? So here's some footage from us after church. They had a bunch of candy stations set up and the kids got to trick or treat a little bit more, especially since we kind of missed out on an hour and a half of trick or treating while we were at mass. We did go to mass on Halloween as a vigil mass for All Saints Day, which was November 1st. And that ended up working out really great. I was happy to be able to go to mass with Juan so that we didn't have to go separate and we got to be there as a family all together. But I am so excited to kind of refresh my house. I'm not gonna be de do decorating tonight because it is getting a little bit late, but I do wanna take these decorations down. So let's go ahead and do that. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us.
But that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below in the comments when you guys decorate for Halloween, if you do like fall decorations after Halloween, or if you just jump straight to Christmas, let me know. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.